What is going on, bro? Good morning. Welcome to another video. Julia, you awake? I'm awake now. We are, we're back in Houston for another weekend. As y'all know, we're building a house here, which we're gonna get to later on, but we changed hotels. We've been staying at La Quince every time we come. We decided to upgrade to the Hyatt because this is like way closer to everywhere that we go. And it's also dog friendly. Yeah, we, we thought La Quinta was the only dog friendly one. And guys, check this out. When I booked this hotel, I paid an extra $1 per night to have this lake view. If you do the math, that's $3. If you add tax to that, it's like $3.24 or something. Totally worth it. Good morning, little Rolo. How you doing, brother? The brother man over here, he's already got his ball. Guys, the cool thing about this hotel is that it has like this, this area over here, which is like extra space for the dogs, basically. It has the bed over there. We have a desk here for when I edit this video tomorrow. And apparently they also have free breakfast here. My expectations are extremely low, but your boy is not gonna pass up a free meal. Um, apparently breakfast is Cocoa Krispies and a little milk box. I think we need to go somewhere else. Yes, we do. Apparently that's what free gets you these days. I feel like free breakfast used to mean like eggs, sausage, potatoes. Yeah, they used to have that huge line of different foods you go through. Now it's like- It's called a buffet, Julia. <laughs> I didn't want to do it, bro. I wanted to get that free breakfast, but somehow breakfast tacos just have a way of calling my name. We're at this spot called Pacific Coast Tacos. We've had their lunch tacos before and they're amazing, but never breakfast. So we got two bacon, egg and cheese tacos on flour and one sausage, egg and cheese. And honestly, bro, these look really good. Eight out of 10. It's not quite taco way, but this is definitely the best breakfast taco I've had in Houston. So I only had three tacos today because I'm transitioning to cutting. You guys can see that meal was like 700 calories, 44 grams of protein. My calorie goal for the day now is only about 23 to 2,500. You know what? It was a good start. So one thing about having dogs is that even if you're traveling, it's a responsibility. You gotta. Yo. Wait, hold up, Max. What up, dude? Is that your doodle? Bro, this is my bridge. There's do you a, do you live around here? There's a toll in this bridge. What's the toll? Ten bucks. We'll go back. It's not worth it. So, dude is Max's doodle. He's what? Two years old. Yeah. Sixty pounds. Rolo is six months old. Fifty pounds. This one's really well behaved. This guy has a lot of learning to do. They also they they're the same type of dog. They're both golden doodles. But Rolo has this like super white fur, whereas dudes is more like. There's like an Arctic doodle. Yeah, we got the Arctic doodle since we're from Boston. And then this is like the Texas doodle. And then obviously we got the brother man, the OG Bo. He's 19 pounds, four years old. He's basically like a grandfather to these dogs over there. The funny thing is, even though he's small, he, he loves playing with big dogs. Even though sometimes he gets kind of aggressive and puts them in their place. He's like a low key alpha male. <laughs> All right, so we are here again at our crib. I guess our future crib. We haven't been here in what, three or four weeks? I don't know, I'm just so excited to move in. It looks pretty much the same on the outside as last time. They did put the garage doors in. I'm not sure if you could see that, but I've heard that they made some serious progress on the inside. Let's check it out. As y'all can see, they've already drywalled the inside. They painted it. We're going with this like light gray paint color. And y'all know when we first came here and they just had like the frame of the house, I was like, man, this room feels so small. This, I feel like we're getting gypped off. But now if you take a look, like this room feels absolutely massive. It feels huge. Have you ever heard someone say that? Like a Y instead of an H, huge? The only thing that's kind of annoying is y'all know we're gonna put a pool right outside of there, a massive long pool. Like we can't start building it until the house is built, which means we're gonna move in and have to do like more construction. A little bit annoying, but it's huge. So my favorite room in the entire house is this kitchen. 
I got my dream kitchen. It is all white. We ended up upgrading and going with all cabinets all the way to the ceiling. We have an open vent right here that's gonna be under the stove. And my favorite part also is this amazing pantry. It has all these built-ins, keep me organized, and it's huge. Huge. It's huge. Now, low-key, my favorite part of the house might be upstairs. So when you walk through here, this is considered the, like the meteor, no, this is considered the game room. So we're gonna have a big full-size pool table in here. We're gonna have a TV up against this wall over here. Maybe a little bar over there with some drinks and stuff. And then if you come in here, this is, this is the movie room, bro. So we're gonna have a massive sofa in here with like a huge piece that you can move around so you can kind of like lay down and enjoy the movie. A big ass TV here to watch How To Be's videos. Maybe some movies. How they looking, babe? How's my nose looking? I see some nose hairs. Those are gross. She, Julia does a good job looking out for me when I'm filming. She gets on me if I have any boogers in there. Or recently, she's been giving me a lot of shit about my nose hairs. Every guy needs a side hoe to help with those nose hairs. <laughs> I've, I've never heard a girl refer to herself as a side hoe before. But it's true. Nose hairs are disgusting, bro. You got to take care of them. And that's why I decided to partner with Manscaped to be the sponsor of today's video. I'm not sure if any of y'all have ever tried pulling out your nose hairs or cutting them with scissors, but it kind of hurts. It doesn't work that well. I actually infected my own nose once, true story. And that's why I love the new Weed Whacker from Manscaped. This thing has a 9,000 RPM motor. If you zoom in on it, you can see it as a 360 dual blade system. So when you stick this bad boy in your nose, like it takes care of all the hairs. It's even waterproof so you can wash it off easier use it in the shower and it's got skin safe technology so it's never going to cut your your nose that you don't want that so if you're ready to clean up your nose hairs they've hooked us up with a coupon code that's going to get you 20 percent off plus free shipping and you can use that on the weed whacker or their performance package 3.0 which also comes with their lawnmower body trimmer and a bunch of other cool stuff just click that first link down in description to pick it up So today we're working out at Alpha Land. They added these dope deadlifting platforms right here. We're not deadlifting today though. We are gonna be getting a workout in with Max and Shawley. And honestly, man, that's one of the main reasons, maybe the main reason that we're moving to Houston is that there's so many other people who are like doing similar things to me. You know, like fitness influencers, I guess to call it a very basic term. And there's not just, there's not a lot of people like that in Austin. And having that that like support community around me and being able to hang out with these people, work out with these people. It, uh, I don't know what to say. Every time I come here, I'd experience such like an emotional high because of that. And even though we're definitely gonna miss Austin a lot, like a lot, I'm really looking forward to that aspect of it. So, 3.30, huh? Look, dude, I had to get the chips, dude. I don't know if they, they, you didn't tell me about this. What's going on, bro? What's up? So, Shali's actually building a house as well. Was it, it's like three minutes away from ours? Uh, yeah, three to five minutes away from y'all's. It's gonna be a dope neighborhood. Yeah, everyone's gonna be living within like 10 minutes of each other. I'm excited for that. Gains, bro, workout complete. The only thing that's better than getting a nice upper body pump would be eating an extremely, extremely spicy chip. This is not gonna be good. So these are the chips we're eating. Tell, tell us a little bit about this. Uh, I have no idea. A subscriber named Shabab sent me this in a box. I, I actually I haven't told you this, but I had a half of one of these with my cousin, and it was bad. Little tip: don't touch your eye afterwards. I touched my eye afterwards. I, I couldn't see for a what couple hours. What about if you touch like the little hole in your wiener? You might be able to do that. That might okay. feel good. Charlie, how you feeling about this? Uh, fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> Julia, how you feeling about this? I'm not doing it. It says, "Do you dare?" Hell, fucking no. Wait, seriously, you're not? I'm not doing it. You're gonna make me do this alone? Yep. Julie. Alone with Max and Charlie. I need that, I need that emotional support. So as you can see, everyone's got a little station. We got the, the chip 
some milk, some lollipops. The problem is, these aren't lollipops, these are like fr frozen pops. The problem is I'm lactose intolerant, so Max was kind enough to give me almond milk. I don't know if almond milk actually has the spicy killing effects of regular milk. Guys, here it is, you gotta handle this with care. So mine broke too. First person who has a popsicle or a milk loses, I guess the last person wins. Three, two, one. Book! Ah! Book! Ah! Get it down, get it down. It's down. It's down. It's down. I'll tell you about, give me about 10 seconds. <laughs> Charlie's out. Charlie's out with half a chip. Are you gonna fall first? Oh, you can't breathe. Guys, look at this. It's not, it's not, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's got bad. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> David, you're taking this really well. Obviously. Don't touch your eyes. Don't touch your eyes. I know, I know. I'm doing my best. Whatever you do, don't touch your eyes. Take your gloves off. Why do you have it on both hands? Guys, he's over here. Uh, the champion. Uh, you did well, bro. You almost made it. This means that I can now. Yeah, you know, I'm just giving me the regular milk. Can I say the regular milk, honestly? Yeah. I'm happy I did it once because I'll never ever do it again. Oh my god. Dude, you know, I, th I thought you, I honestly thought you were gonna win. You were holding it in so long, but I wanted to, but then I was like, what like what am I gonna achieve with a victory? So David and Max have been in the bathroom for like 15 minutes. They're not doing well. David just came out. How are you doing, buddy? You guys, I'm I'm not I'm not active, man. Like after 20 minutes, it wasn't spicy in my mouth anymore. Then after like 40 minutes, my stomach started hurting. I, I had to go to the bathroom. Like I had diarrhea. I got the worst pain in like my upper. I can't even move. I got the worst pain in my upper stomach. I, I made myself vomit. I've actually never done that in my life before. And you're sweating so much. Yeah, yeah I don't. The first time I ate it didn't. It's probably because I ate on an empty stomach this time. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, these championship rings on my hands now. On my hands now. In my head on top 10, get his hands down. Get his hands down. Yeah. You a squad squad, now you're looking man down. Looking man down. Funny high foes turn to friends now. Java Reese car like a target. Yeah. Caught filling up a knee Bro. I got a couple things to say. First of all, that was called the Carolina Reaper pepper. It, you're, it straight up reaped my butthole. Like when I went, I'm not gonna, like my butthole is burnt. On the way home, we literally, we stopped by CVS. It was just my insides, like my stomach. I got two types of lotion. <laughs> That guy's the stomach pain. For you, was it like right, like upper yeah. abdomen? Like, yeah, it was, it was, it was terrible. It, it, it could have been the worst pain I felt in my life. Yeah. Like on a sustained basis. I didn't know what to do. I kept like trying different like positions and everything was just so painful. And then at some point I had to throw up and then like it, like literally my mouth got hot again. Like I, I like, I like experienced the heat like for another like three minutes. It was terrible. I, Julie, I almost, she offered to take me to the hospital and I almost, like I, I considered it because it was, it was such an intense stomach pain. It was, it was like it was, it was almost like like my stomach had like I, it was like the upper part was like curled. It was crippling. Like yeah. you couldn't move. Yeah, it was terrible. Physical pain, like crawling on the floor, trying like standing, kneeling. I yeah. turned the lights off. I laid on my back for like 20 minutes. Like I, I went and knocked on the door. I was like, but after I started feeling a little bit better, I was like, Max, are you right? I was like, I was vomiting. He's like, Yo, I can't talk right I, now, bro. I, I didn't even want to talk. I was just like, I, I do not recommend anyone to do that. And if you do that. Don't do that on empty stomach. So we're going to attempt to put a little bit more food inside my belly and see if it works. I got this double crusted chicken parmesan from BJ's and we are going to Netflix and chill a little bit. We're watching this movie, The Take with Idris Elba. Looks pretty dope. Two things that I do not love about this hotel. The door gets jammed every time and the, the little comeback later, later sign falls off every single time. Anyway, bro, I'm gonna wrap this video up right here. I'm I'm very tired. I'm ready to sleep. If you're still watching, I appreciate you so much. Hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, go ahead, click subscribe and turn notifications on because I drop two new videos every single week and you don't wanna miss them. I will talk to all of y'all in the next video. Stay beastly. You never had a chance like an abortion Broken, you don't wanna play with me to solve it Us
shit. Look into a place that never thought he could.